Hello guys, my name is Robin. I'm going to show you a glossy button. How to make a glossy button for web, for your application, or any way you want to use. So let's open a new document. Click OK, and I will choose a Docker background like 464646 as a hexa code. And by pressing Alt Delete, and on Mac, Option Delete will fill the background color with foreground color okay I'm using a darker color because glossy things looks better against a darker background color choice is yours which color you want okay I'll take the ellipse tool now by pressing shift on my keyboard I'll come up with this solution okay here I got my gradient already created here like gradient overlay here by pressing double click here or right click layer properties and come to layer style to open this layer style okay so from the gradient overlay click here and see what color value I choose C9002 as a hexagon click OK and 780707 as a hexagon for the other color. Always try to play if you want to make this all glossy button. You always try to need to play with two colors as same shade, darker and lighter. And click OK and click on the reverse. I want the lighter red color on the top, so I have to click reverse or whatever you want your gradient to do. So click on the same settings and darker color at the bottom and click OK okay here we got the first position now what I'm going to do is electrical marker tool and I'll try shape like this okay I'm good enough now creating a new layer here and fill it up with the paint bucket tool with the same color here okay now pressing ctrl D to deselect or from select deselect okay now I got it okay sorry I'm I did a mistake here so pressing ctrl J to go back select modify feather I need to press uh, give feather to this selection otherwise it will not look good so click on 20 pixel and okay now fill it up pressing ctrl D to deselect and go to color dodge see it's lightening up now duplicate it for more lightening up okay now I'm happy with the selection okay now I'll go to the ellipse tool again to try shape like this to make it more good okay I'm happy with my current selection okay now I'll make it feel zero I'll reset the program depending on color here and the white as a foreground color so I get the transparent white color here as a gradient here okay I'm done now make it like 65 okay this is good make it a little outer glow to white to make it like 35 like 15 in TLS and is skin to color dot okay now I'm good let's take a look how it looks okay so already is closing up okay we're fine now to type there for example Z now pressing control T see how we want it okay for example I want it here make it color to black okay now move the to top okay now pressing 4 to party okay I'm done I'll go to drop shadow yeah it's looking good I think go to end ELS make it 35 you have to use global setting to distance 0 whatever is like choice is yours okay click ok 
now I want to give you a little bit depth on this button so go back to the first shape layer go to the layer star drop shadow using distance 0 using 15 and less 35 here we go I think you guys gonna like this button let's take a look at the dark position so if you want to play with the color from your layer palette come here so here we come up with our glossy buttons if you want to play with more color you can click any color from your gradient or you can create any gradient as you want so it looks better what you want to try this is yours so I think it's looking good whatever you want how do you play so if you like this tutorial say thanks and give five star rating to this, this tutorial and you can also comment or message me for any tutorial specific you want but I'm going to create new video tutorials from now on for on my youtube channel day by day so if you like my tutorial or if you want in you want to have new tutorial in future just subscribe to my channel thank you for your take care bye bye